What's up, everybody? I'm Miles, and I'm excited to explore the city, meet new people, and discover more about the armor of God. What do this guy, this guy, and this guy all have in common? Special gear to protect their noggins. Well, what's the big deal with that? Well, your head is where your thoughts come from, and those things are pretty important. Because while the devil can't read our minds, he can tempt us to think thoughts that are not true. Hmm. Like, God can't love you. Or, you really messed up. There's no way God will forgive you. Now, you probably don't have protective headgear to wear every day of the week. But have no fear. God's got you. And your head covered with... The Helmet of Salvation! That just means being saved from the wrong things we do. And that's exactly what Jesus came to do for us. When we believe that Jesus died on the cross, took the punishment for our sins, and came back to life, God saves us, and there's no one or nothing that can take that away. Pretty sweet, right? So the next time those doubts start creeping into your head, be sure to put on the Helmet of Salvation to help you catch, check, and change your thoughts by remembering that God will always love you, no matter what. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. Against the evil one, I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Against the evil one, I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Great singing. You can take a seat. It's time to play Spot the Emoji. Look for the hidden emoji in the city. When you spot it, shout it out. You found it! Let's play again. See if you can spot the hidden emoji. Amazing! One more round. Look and find the hidden emoji. Shout it out when you see it. Great job! Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. God knew that sometimes we would doubt his love, and he also knew that the devil would try to make us think God doesn't love us. 
So God gave us a piece of armor to protect our minds and help us remember the truth about His love. God wants us to live every day knowing that He loves us. He sent Jesus to earth to show us that love. One day, Jesus was visiting a town in Israel called Cana. There was a royal official whose son was sick in the nearby town. The official heard that Jesus was in Cana, so he went to Jesus and begged him to heal his son because he was about to die. Jesus told the official he could go back home because the boy was going to live. As the official left Jesus, he could have doubted if Jesus had really saved his son from dying. But instead, he believed what Jesus said and that Jesus loved him and his boy. As the official was on his way home, some of his servants ran to meet him on the road with some very good news. His son was alive and doing well. The official found out that it all happened at the exact minute Jesus said his son would live. Just like the official believed that Jesus could save his son from death, we can believe that Jesus can save us too. We are saved when we believe that Jesus died on the cross, took the punishment for our sins, and came back to life. Jesus' love saves us from receiving the punishment we deserve for the wrong things we do, and it gives us the promise of heaven with Him one day. This promise of salvation is forever and can never be taken away. There's nothing in all of creation, nothing too great and nothing too evil, that can change how much God loves us. The helmet of salvation will help us remember this every day. We can put on the helmet of salvation. Put on the helmet of salvation. City Rat versus City Cat Dance Battle. This side of the room will dance with the city cats, and this side of the room will dance with the city rats. Get on your feet and help your team win! Joe Miller here, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Guys, I am so excited today because we are going to meet someone with some serious animal instincts. I can't wait to show you how he puts his everyday armor to use. He's amazing. Austin's his name and animals are his game. Let's go. Austin, hey, how are you? Hi, Joe. It's so good to see you. I'm glad that you could come out and visit today. Okay, okay, I can't even. Please introduce us to this little guy. Oh, this is Calvin. Ooh. He's one of my favorites here at the shelter, and he's about to go to his forever home. Well, what an exciting day for Calvin. Austin, can you tell us a little more about what you do here at the shelter? Oh, for sure I can. I love working at the shelter. It's my favorite place to be. Animals come to us, and our job is to get them ready to be adopted. Well, to see one of these furry friends get new homes has to be the most fun. It is. You know, some of our friends are feeling a little rough when they arrive. They may be hurt or have medical issues that we need to address. Oh, no. Well, I am so glad they have a place to come so that they can get better. It's the leash I could do. Well, here, check out this transformation. Sparky showed up feeling really bad. He not only needed a home, but also some medicine and time to get well. Oh, look at Sparky. He is just the cutest. The great news about Sparky is that it only took a few days, and he was back to his spunky self, ready to get adopted and have a woof over his head. Well, Calvin, Sparky, I can totally see why you love to work here. So Austin, I really want to know, what piece of God's armor helps you the most here at the shelter? 
Oh, without a doubt, it would have to be the Helmet of Salvation. Our goal at the shelter is to get every animal into a great home. And whenever one of these little guys gets adopted into a family, it just reminds me so much of God's love and how we are a part of His family. Oh man, Austin, that is so good. It is. See, nothing can separate us from God's love. And the Helmet of Salvation reminds me of that. And when you use the Helmet of Salvation, it helps defend against thoughts that can get up in there and make us doubt God's love. Exactly. You know, the best part about the Helmet of Salvation is that it's a reminder that once we're saved, we're always saved. And nothing can take that away from us. No matter what, we belong to Jesus. Nothing can separate us from God's love, and we are forever a part of His family. Well, hot dog! I love how you're able to use the Helmet of Salvation working here. What a great reminder. It sure is. Well, thanks for coming to visit, Joe. It was so fun, Austin, and very nice to meet you, Calvin. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure you join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Put on the Helmet of Salvation. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing. You can take a seat. Let's review what we've learned today. Try to memorize the cards before the timer runs out. Time's up. Which number has the match? Shout it out. You found the first match. True or false? The helmet of salvation is like a bicycle helmet, but it protects you from falling down the stairs. False. The Helmet of Salvation is an invisible piece of God's armor we wear to remind us that nothing can separate us from God's love. Let's find the next match. Find the match. Shout it out. You got it. Here's our next question. In today's Bible story, what happened when the official went back to his home after seeing Jesus? His son was healed or he had corn growing in his field? 
The official believed Jesus when he said his son would live. And when he got home, his son was healed. Let's find another one. Which number has the match? Shout it out. It's time for one more question. How can we put on the helmet of salvation? By playing football or by remembering how much God loves us? We put on the helmet of salvation by remembering that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Great job playing our game. Everybody say this together. Every day, I will put on the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth. To fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness. To protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots. To tell others about Jesus. I hold up the shield of faith. To block what the devil sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation. To remember God always loves me. I hold up the sword of the Spirit. God's word is my best weapon. Now I stand firm and pray. Hey God, thank you for giving us the helmet of salvation. Help us to put it on every day to remind us that you love us and sent Jesus to save us. We love you. Amen.